My name is Robert Kirkpatrick. I am director of the Global Pulse Initiative in the executive office of the UN Secretary General. Uh, I am here today speaking about our new initiative, um, which is looking at how we can use real-time information from emerging technologies to understand what's happening to populations in crisis. And how do you think that links with how some more of the Millennium Development Goals can be reached? Well, I think there's been a lot of effort in the past decade on achievement of the UN uh, Millennium Goals and tremendous resources invested. And yet, in the past two years of the complex food, fuel, and financial crisis that swept around the world, we've seen how, in some cases, many years of work toward achievements of the Millennium Goals can actually be reversed in a matter of months because vulnerable populations severely and disproportionately impacted by crises can lose much of the gains that were made. Our project is focused on using real-time information to help policymakers understand what's happening to those populations and be more effective at responding quickly to intervene before the damage is done. Today, most of the data that's being used to understand what's happening at the household level in achievement of the MDGs is two or even three years old. And if you find out two years later that a community was pulling girls out of school to work in the market because they didn't have enough food, the damage is done. Those kids are not going back to school again. So we're trying to now allow a rapid response while there's still time. With new technology, would that solve the problem or is it more complicated? It's not really that the technology is outdated except unless you consider paper and pencil technology. And I think you have to. And in that sense, yes. When you're talking about uh, you know, forms being filled out and household surveys and piling up on desks before they can be transcribed into a computer system, and then shared, that's a huge problem, but it's more the, a basic, it's more basic issue than that. It's really that developing countries don't have the resources to do proactive monitoring of what's happening at the household level in every sector toward every goal on a monthly basis. We have to find new ways of inferring from the information patterns, the information exhaust that the use of mobile phones gives off as people go about their daily lives that can now help us understand what's happening to these populations without having to use surveys at all. Some people think that the, the, goals, need to, the goals need to be reached by 2015. Some people feel that's unrealistic. What do you, what's your opinion on that? I think the goals can be reached by 2015 in many, many, many countries. I think they're countries um, there are countries where they probably will not be achieved and there are countries where it will be very difficult. But I think um, achievement overall of our goals is, is definitely within reach. But I think to do that, given the time that remains, we have to find ways to understand where populations are right now in their achievement of those goals. Because much of the statistical data we're using today to track progress toward those goals dates back to 2008 or earlier. We can do it. It's going to take cooperation. It's going to take um, new ways of thinking um, about what vulnerability means, and it's going to take a lot of technical innovation.